So in a combination of me being fat, lazy as fuck, and this thing being ridiculously huge, this is how I gotta work on it now. But don't worry, it's not a Chevy, so I don't have to do it often. Anywho, a couple guys asked me to do a vacuum line routing video, so I'm gonna do that. Um, and I fixed my key switch, mint key switch thing so I'm gonna show you how to do that but first let's do the vacuum um vacuum lines ah uh, um so first off this little guy right here there's a valve right here it's called pur that's called a purge valve don't need that shit um I deleted the EGR system so I don't need it anyway um uh, the where the fuck is it see that see that guy right there that's the plug for the bottom there's a purge valve um uh, that's just sitting in there don't need that um here's where the other end of that purge valve line goes into this i believe this is called a charcoal canister it's either this or that i, I don't fucking know anyway um this one i don't think it matters which one goes where i'm not too sure but just in case you want to do it the way i did it if you're standing in front of the truck, the right one is going to go to the purge valve, and the left one is going to go, that goes to your fuel tanks. That's your vent for the fuel tanks. Um, coming off this little tree thing here, this guy comes down around, and I believe that line is one of these. I think it's that one. Um this guy right here goes over and under into this little thing for the uh, fuel rail um, and that red one right there the one with the little red line that goes to the uh, Vlen Vlen where the fuck you say Vlen door and the heater box and all that um, I had to redo all these lines because once they get corroded and old, um, they just fall apart. So I just redid it with some little tubing. You can get that at uh, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, or something like that. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, oh, this guy. This is a hard line. I don't think it has to be a hard line, hard plastic line. That goes around to the map sensor. Uh, and by the way, in case your truck ever doesn't shut off from the key, all you have to do is pop that line off and the truck will shut off. I learned that the hard way. Um, my, 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 my. This guy is your brake booster line. That just goes to the brake booster. Uh, there would be a couple more lines. They're coming up, I can't remember, they're coming up right here. I think they were red. Um, that goes to the EGR system that's deleted. That would come around. Of course, you can't see it because my light doesn't work. But um, there's a little, like a little box thing right here. See all these plugs? And there's a couple uh, plugs for uh, vent lines. Uh, they go to there, but obviously they're not necessary because this truck runs fine without them. Um, as far as vacuum lines, I think that's it like i said i uh, another thing i don't know that it really matters like say if you put this line here and this line here or this line there i don't think that matters just as long as it's hooked into this but this guy is going to be a lot bigger than the other one so I, you're gonna have to put that one there <laughs> Bitch. um so as far as vacuum lines i think that's all it is and, okay, so let's get to the key switch. Um, so what you're gonna do is if you have verified that it is not this, which what I did was I replaced this thinking this was the problem, still doing it. So, and then if you've been following this build, you know that I had to put a button in there, but I got a brand new oh, dash bezel. So I didn't want to ruin that one. So what I did was I said, okay, I know that's not this, and you can verify that by just taking this wire off, taking your little piece of copper wire, wrapping it around that stud right there, 
and then just touching it to your battery cable or battery post. Now, if the truck tries to crank up, that tells you you got a problem with this wire. Now, a couple ways you can go about this. Here's the easiest way to do it. Go cut the wire. So as you can see, the wire's cut. It's a, I, well it doesn't show it on here, but it's a red wire with a blue stripe on my truck. It may be different for other trucks, but I learned this on one of the parts trucks I got you know, back over there behind the trees. Follow that wire all it goes through the harness, you know, all that bullshit up under the steering column. Now, now when you get under here, shit, you're not going to be able to see it. I'm not taking this apart for a video. Um, up in here, somewhere i think it's i think it comes out that main plug that plugs onto the side of the steering column that wire goes into there now what you want to do is cut that wire splice it and then run you a new wire through the firewall over to that and then before you go run it you might want to test it just you know splice that wire in and just run it on the outside of the hood and all that wrap it around that post and then try your key if it works, that's your problem. Or you fix your problem. So all you gotta do is just, you know, run that wire, you know, tidy it up a little bit. Or if you don't give a fuck, leave it out the window, you know, whatever it's your truck. So that's what I did. It works on the key now. Super stoked. Um, oh, shit. I'm trying to think. Fucking Chevy owners. Um, so I'm sure a couple of you are probably asking how I did this. Um, this, that blue line goes, if I remember correctly, I took this off and up behind there, there's like a bunch of plugs and shit. I just like, found like a little piece of clear tubing and just made like a little junction and ran it around there or around there to that because i did one at a time because it's really confusing if you're doing it you know all together because when i got the truck there was nothing there and actually when i got this engine out of the other truck half of the vacuum lines weren't even there because it you know sat in the field for five six seven years however long it sat there so yeah that's that um i think i have pretty much covered everything um if you got any other questions or maybe i missed something i'm not totally sure i think i covered everything anyway if you have any other questions just leave one in the comment uh comment section um, and don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram. It's Big Tommy Boy 6996. Uh, Snapchat is just Big Tommy Boy. I've had a couple guys ask, add me from YouTube. Y'all are fucking cool. So, yeah, that's it.